Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another uh, session of Steel Story Shorts. We are here at the International Roofing Exposition in Cool and Rady, believe it or not, Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, I'm really excited to have with me here today Jeff Henry of the Metal Construction Association. Jeff, thanks very much Rob, for being here today. My pleasure. We, we refer to the, MCA, the Metal Construction Association as the MCA. So, as you hear me talk about it later, just recognize that's what MCA is. Um, Jeff, maybe you could tell us a little bit about you and the MCA just for starters. Yeah, thanks, Rob. Yep. I serve as the executive director. Yeah, so I, that is, in essence, a chief staff position. So, working with the board uh, in the development of our strategic objectives and then, you know, responsible for the execution of those plans. MCA is a C6 trade association comprised of manufacturers, raw material suppliers, fabricators, contractors, all involved in the metal roofing and uh, wall industry. So we, co we cover the, the, almost the entire vertical of that industry. And our, our sole mission is to advance the use of metal in the building envelope. How long have you been uh, with the MCA? I originally started with MCA in 2012, and my first engagement with them lasted through 2016. And then in uh, early 2020, the MCA reached out, asked, inquired if I had interest in coming back, and was uh, jumped in with both feet. So I've been involved since, re engaged since then. Terrific, terrific. Well, I mean, they, they, they obviously, obviously saw some good talent. So uh, glad to have you on that thing. So, Maybe you could tell us a little bit about trends that you're seeing in the you know metal construction industry uh, nowadays here in 2024. Yeah, um, yeah, several things are, are going on today, and you know, first on the residential side, which you know we we deal in you know, mostly through our partner the MRA, um, but yeah, really the significant growth in the use of metal roofing on the res in the residential market. We're seeing similar and on the commercial and institutional side, we continue to gain share uh, in in the marketplace. I think what we've seen in recent time, though, is the type of buildings that are, are going up has been modified. So we've, we've gone from some of the uh, typical industrial commercial uh, buildings that have uh, driven our market over the last few years that coming out of the pandemic to um, yeah, green energy buildings, data centers, and, and, you know, just the advancement of new technologies changes the type of buildings that need to be built, but where we're seeing that the use of metal in, in, in those buildings expand considerably. So that's interesting. Um, and I, I guess as you see building evolution uh, to take place, I, I guess it's leaving a lot of room for innovation and for, you know, the growth of the metal industry because people can now see, hey, what can the metal do in the construction yeah absolutely yes uh we do see innovation happening in our industry in fact um you know, obviously our members are very engaged in r&d to further their own interests but we as a trade association are also actively engaged in the uh, doing testing and research we have a current project going on now with the department of energy and the development of uh energy efficient wall systems and being able to you know thermal capture uh, and then repurposing of that thermal energy. And that's something that we, uh, you know, intend to bring to market uh, in not too distant future. We're looking at ways that it can be commercially viable. And, you know, and I think the whole sustainability and in, in, in energy moves are areas where metal has such an advantage over some alternative building materials that that's only going to further advance the use of metal in our industry moving forward. Absolutely. Well, obviously, uh, Sustainability is a big topic nowadays. We talk about it a lot in everything we do. Um, how do you see people's receptivity to the type of sustainability? You mentioned green buildings and that kind of um, uh, topic. You mentioned just the, the whole frontal walls, all that sort of thing. How do you see metal and the role metal is playing in the sustainability message moving? There are several things going on there that I think need to be addressed, frankly, uh, first off. Um, yeah, it's, we hear a lot of messaging about sustainability and decarbonization, and it's necessary. And there's obviously going to be incentives coming forward that, you know, for 
uh, the use of green materials. Uh, and we have a, we're in a great position, but, but some of our challenges, uh, there's not a uniform understanding of what sustainability is or a definition for it. So we have to get everybody uh, to understand what, what we're really talking about there. There's been a lot of misinformation over the years uh, from you know, competitive materials and their positioning. And, you know, so metal itself has, has somewhat lacked over the years a uniform message to take to uh, industry, to take to our, the design communities to inform people and really tell our story. Uh, and we're working hard to make that happen in the, in the not too distant future. So, yeah, that's great. Um, you're right. There's a lot of misinformation out there. We actually like to talk about the whole sustainability process right now. It's still in its, such an infancy. It's almost like the Wild West huh? where everybody's making up their own rules. So exactly. your context around the needing to generate some definitions, things like that, it's really important for that um, and, and we look forward to being a part of that. And, uh, U.S. Steel just um, it published environmental product declarations for all the steel that we make, whether it's coming from an, an EAF or one mm-hmm. of blast furnaces. So giving our customers now the opportunity for having, you know, the steel input into the things that they make, I think it's going to be a bit start. Yeah, it, I, and it's critically important to us and our, and our members and, and the manufacturers. Um, you know, I think, you know, we're in the process of starting the renewal of our industry EPDs, so that's yeah, you know, the industry averages. But you know, ninety ninety five percent of uh, the the content of that or what what's measured in there comes from the substrate itself. Yeah. So when it comes to the fabrication, you know, how much difference is there between you know manufacturer A or B, and how much influence does it have on the overall measures? Pretty small. Right. When when you, when you talk about that, so. You know, having U.S. Steel at the table as a partner is critically important to us and to the industry, as well as the other mills. And it's only become, going to become more important as manufacturers are going to be asked by certain states and regu- regulatory uh, organizations to, to provide product-specific EPDs. You know, so it, it makes a difference, and the manufacturer's going to need that information. Yep, so, yeah, absolutely. So how about uh, challenges that you see well, you know, today or next year or you know, the two, three years from now for metal and metal's ability to grow more in the in the construction industry. What are the, some of the challenges that we see about that? Well, I hate to be a broken record, but I, th- I think part of it is just what we were talking about a little while ago about informing people about you know, the true message about sustainability uh, and um, why metal should be their choice and, and why some of the positioning from, you know, be it wood or concrete, yeah, is misleading with regard to, uh, you know, where metals should stand in the sustainability pyramid. Um, so, so that's a big issue. Skilled craftsmen, the contractor base is showing growing interest in metal, but the percentage of them that have dealt uh, exclusively in metal or uh, is part of their nor- normal uh, product offerings is growing, but still too small to, to, to fit our needs and the demand. So supply chain challenges of the past, hopefully we can avoid those as geopolitical issues that have come into play in recent time that can impact our industry. Uh, we're in a good place. We certainly have full capacity, you know, domestically to handle our needs, but yeah, you never know when uh, something, you know, something is going to pop up and, and create more challenges for us. Uh, so I guess uh, just in closing here, Jeff, if you had to look at your radar screen for 2024, in one word, what do you see 2024 kind of looking like? I'm an optimist, so I'll always see uh, seeing the opportunity for growth. I do think there are some exciting uh, uh, ventures coming to to the market and opportunities coming for us. I I see. Yeah, realistically, there'll be small growth in share. Yeah, I think our members are reporting yeah you know, steady sales and, and growth. So I, I continue to see uh, the, the market moving forward. Our educational efforts will just continue to advance that as we get more of the design and, and building our communities familiar with, with uh, you know, what metal has to offer. Great. And so for anybody that wants to learn more about the Metal Construction Association, what we do, uh, 
Our website is uh, nowconstruction.org. And I'm always open to an email or a phone call. So, you know, my email address is jhenry at nowconstruction.org. Or, you know, yeah, you can find our office number on our on our website. It, my number is direct line is eight four seven three seven five six four zero two. Happy to answer any questions people may have. Great. So, well, Jeff, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time today. Uh, Metal's got a lot of a lot of great things going for it. You're a great ambassador. Well, thank you. thank thank you, Rob, and thank you for all the support that MCA receives from U.S. Steel. It, it's yeah important to us, and yeah, you, you've done for tremendous effort to help help us perform our mission. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, that is another episode of Steel Stories Shorts. Uh, thank you, Grace. Have a great day.